Okay, tell us about your character and All right, it's, um, it's a tough guy. It's a really tough guy. He has a very strong character, uh, but at the same time, he has the biggest heart in the world. He works for his people. He gives his life for his people. Uh, he doesn't believe in love. He, uh, he thinks um, it doesn't exist until he meets Marina, you know, uh, the character uh, that he made on Abra Displaying. And um, at the beginning, they hate each other. They want to kill each other. I think people are going to really feel related to this. Sometimes they meet each other and they want to kill each other at the beginning of the relationship. But later on, you know, they, they fall in love with each other. They, they can be apart from each other. And uh, this is going to be uh, very hard to be together. You know, it's going to be very difficult. They're going to have a lot of hate towards them, you know, a lot of things going on. So their relationship is Exactly. Their relationship is called probably La Tempestad. It's kind of like Tempestad. Uh, when did you feel that you were Tempestad in your real life? In my real life, you know, I, I'm a very positive guy, so I never see any moment i've never seen any moment, moment of my life like 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 a like a tempestad really i've seen everything like a like a positive thing that maybe god want me to get through it to learn from it and you know so i couldn't tell you what a tempestad is for me maybe the hardest moments that i lived in my life was when i was back in cuba as a little boy but for me it wasn't a tempestad for me it was something very good something um, that i learned a lot from it your lifestyle that's made it you so successful so far I think uh, when you are humble when you are when you know how to appreciate everything you have in life and every moment you have in life and everything that God gives you I think life will take care of it life will give you more things life will take care of you you know and as long as you share things with everybody around you and you're a good guy and you're a good person and you have a good heart towards people around you you know and never stop caring about them you know I think everything's gonna go, go good for you It has been changing for a positive way. I think Latinos back in the days um, had a, we had it a little, a little rough, a little harder. harder. Today, days everything's becoming more easier for us. Even in the English market, when you want to work as an actor, uh, people are seeing the power we have here in this country. That we don't come here to take anything away from people. That we come here to give something to people, you know, and to work and. And we are very loyal to each other, you know. So when we do a movie, for example, all Latinos go to the movies, you know, and, and that speaks in numbers. So, you know, that opens a lot of opportunities, not only for actors, for actors, but for all kinds of Latinos, you know. My character is Marina. Uh, my name is Marina Reverte, and she's a very strong woman. She's very prepared. She's always working. Um, she knows how to, to deal with um, business and uh, um, different things in, in life, work and that, that kind of stuff. And she loves uh, her mom, is the most important thing in her life. Um, she goes to Veracruz to work and because her mom is sick, so she has to, to give her like a better life on the beach. So she goes there and she meets Capitan Fabre and she is now in love. Um, how, when did you feel that you were in a uh, that you um, were living at Tempestad in your real life? Sorry, did you ever live at Tempestad in your real life? No yet. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, I'm I'm going to live always a calm lifestyle. <laughs> but no, I don't have a tempest in my life yet. <laughs> How's the U.S. been treating you as a Latina? How do you feel here? Great. You know, I, I won Miss Universe in 2010, and I lived in New York for a year. So I love, um, I love represent my country and my culture. You know, I'm very proud of that. What is your secret in, in your estilo de vida? What is your secret in your lifestyle as far as staying alive in this industry and being successful? Keep balance and, you know, balancing everything, being healthy. Um, I love my family. I think it's the most important thing in life. So that's why I always, you know, like I feel peace and calm.